All right, today we're going to try FSD beta in one of the worst possible weather. It's minus two degrees Celsius, so it's, so, it's very close to freezing. Uh, we're having a little bit of snow and ice, so sleet basically. So the whole road, even though it looks like there is somewhat traction, but this is, we're all driving <laughs> into, on top of ice right now. Majority of the drive, I'm gonna be the one taking over if uh, the car is not driving defensively, but right now it looks like the car is driving a little bit defensively. I have it set to chill. So it's going to keep as much distance as possible. I'll even, you know, I'll do minimal lane changes so it doesn't do those abrupt lane changes and see how it does. I need to get a little bit of servicing, so I'm heading to the Tesla service center here in Winnipeg. So it's a very short drive, but uh, I'm excited to see how Tesla does with all the turnings and stuff with when there's like a lot of ice on the road. times like this I take over uh, just a little bit I didn't really disengage FSD I just slowed it down uh, FSD seemed to not want to overtake that a huge trailer so I just took over and then now it's doing the automatic lane change did it perfectly didn't really hinder any traffic it it needs to stay on this lane because it's about to make a right turn into the street here not this street, the next one. Nope. Yeah, I really wanted to take this lane, but this lane ends. So it uh, wasn't going to be a good choice. Oh, it doesn't end. Oh, no, it does end. So that would have been not such a great idea to be on that lane. Put the car back on FSD again. Well, now it needs to make that lane change. And now, well, could have done what it did back there, but here you go. Right, needs to slow down. Slowing down perfectly. Watching for those pedestrians as well. And taking this turn flawlessly. Oh not so flawlessly I hate it when it does those hesitations so now we got something interesting interesting coming up here we're gonna take a left turn but there's no traffic control sign monitoring this left turn so we're gonna have to have someone nice to stop for us and then we can take this left turn so I wonder if FSD beta is going to recognize that and then take the left turn see so that person took the left turn there wasn't anything really controlling that sign yeah another person takes the left turn another person does it I should be oh wow nice FSD beta recognizes kindness there you go so the traction is pretty okay in this car because I'm running uh, this is uh, all-wheel drive as well as well as I'm running Michelin XI snow so super duper really good snow tires so that's why it's doing well it's gotta stop yeah even this stop it was region that stopped it uh, we didn't really have to have uh, ABS take over here we got a stop sign that's uh, partially covered by snow so but Look at that, half as the betas is still able to recognize the stop sign. Let's stop, so the stop sign here. And, okay. Takes it. Didn't really want to wait for that trailer here, which was a good decision. That would have been a long wait. It's wanting to stick to this middle of the road. I wonder what it'll do if I do a lane change. Nope, not changing lanes. It can easily follow this truck here, which is doing now, but I don't know why I'd want it to stay in the middle of the lane. Just... I 
things like that is something that uh, Tesla needs to work on but it's still very incredible to see how this car performs even when there's absolutely no lane lines it's just using the curves it's still able to see a lot of things well there, there's a sign here it says full self-driving may be degraded so there's that so so it does warn you that FSD might not work as well as it should but still, I mean, look at this. Like, there's absolutely nothing. No lane lines, no nothing. And it's still performing really well. It's keeping its distance and uh, driving defensively somewhat. Sometimes it goes in the middle <laughs> of the lane. But, but yeah, it's driving really well now. I guess uh, sometime in the future it would be nice if Tesla could integrate potholes uh, detection and then avoid pothole for the roads here in Winnipeg that's a very very important and crucial feature that we would love to have but for now FSD beta just drives straight into those potholes and some of these you can't even can't really do anything about those so your car just takes the beating all right so we're about to have a right turn here See how it does lots of potholes so all right I think that driving very cautiously which is great and okay watching for traffic which it did it did watch for traffic and now we got more traffic coming oh, there you go there's ABS that took over so it's gonna take this left turn so it's gonna be interesting to see how it does that it needs to take this left turn and then take a right into this little parking lot here. I could have gone straight, but I want to see, I want to push it uh, and see how the FSD beta does. There's no one behind me, so I'm not really hindering much traffic. Uh, let's see if some of these guys stop for us and if FSD beta recognizes that. It needs to watch for two things. It needs to watch for watch for traffic coming from this direction and then it needs to watch for traffic coming from that direction it's going to be interesting to see oh it's, it's wanting to make this turn oh it's still yeah it wanted to no oh, i'll take over from here yeah it did it did make the turn but uh it wouldn't be able to make this right turn here so tough times like this is when you gotta take over but uh, here we are Tesla service center in Winnipeg it doesn't there's nothing that says it's uh, Tesla, Tesla service center um, they actually rent one of the bays here from Eastside Collision here in Winnipeg so if you ever thought how you gonna get service in Winnipeg and there's no Tesla here in Winnipeg this is how it is they just rent a bay from uh, the body shop here and they work out of here and another great thing is when you're when you're kind of reversing usually because our roads are so dirty that your back camera it gets obstructed with snow and all all the slush but with the tesla there's side cameras as well which are you can see are pretty clear which you can use to also back up as well all right here we are hopefully i get a loaner i'm here for my it's tire pressures it's saying it's really really low even though it's not I've checked it manually so we gotta get that figured out and fixed well I hope you guys like this short little drive here in super dangerous conditions with FSD beta please smash that like button and subscribe and I'll see you guys next week